Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. Hope you're all doing okay. So as we mentioned in our last episode, what we want to focus on in this one is to start to build our intensive care unit. So we want to enable hospitalization for intensive care. And what this is going to do is it's going to unlock ambulances and then that's when you start to delve a little bit more into the trauma side of the emergency department. So today it would be absolutely amazing if we could just let's just start off as intensive care department. We won't try and get everything in, you know, absolutely everything first time and make it look pretty. We'll go functional first, make sure we get everything in that we need for the department to function. And then we can start working on making it look a little bit nicer and get a few more decorative things in place. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm actually going to build the foundation. Well, let's have a look, actually. Let's go. If we go to the prefabs, how much are we looking at? Yes, yeah, so the encore rooms are quite expensive. The ICU 8x6, which holds one bed, is 29 grand. But... It looks like they've got a lot of decorational bits and bobs in there. And then encore rooms are pretty cheap. So I'm actually going to go ahead and build the encore rooms and nurse stations as prefabs. And then we'll go in and we'll just delete anything that we don't need. So let's go with that. Nurse station, we'll get that one. Um, why can't that go there then? It's blocked by another object. Is that the tree on the lamppost? Looks like it. There we go. So let's go that in. Now what we can do is simply go for the foundations to build that area. Um, and that's going to want to be foundations as well. So our issue here is now we only have £9,220 left. So what we're going to have to try and do is simply build kind of one unit um, so kind of one functional bed unit um, and I'll sort of explain more about what that means very shortly so we're going to go with a pink theme for our ICE so let's get in this wall something a little bit different I'll just go all the way up there right so what do we need so we've got that yeah we just need the ICU unit so let's get that in there we might save this space for a cleaning closet. Right, so we need for intensive care, we need a modern hospital bed, which is probably fairly expensive in itself. Let's get some of that there. Then we need a life monitor. That's an advance, let's get that one. Um, we need life support, which is already gonna take us very close to having no money. So let's get have to get the loan but hopefully we can complete some more objectives in this episode which should hopefully get us a little bit more money mechanical ventilator is in then we need a few bits like mobile workstation what else do we need here let's get in like a whiteboard to look cool we'll get a bed socket behind the bed then we need some equipment so let's get one of them and then we'll get some We'll get the equipment tables. Let's get two equipment tables because we need, well, actually we need more than that. We need a fast USG. We need a defibrillator. We've got the one that goes on the wall. CRP scan. Disinfectant. Uh, I'll get a bin to go under that disinfectant. And then we need the hematology analyzer. So let's get that somewhere like there. So that's that in. Um, so that's the absolute bare bones what we need for this room. I'm just gonna get in a couple of stretchers. We'll get those in maybe along that wall. We'll get two of them in. So that's like a functional unit. Um, it'll be good to get in a bit of a wall between that. So if we go um, there and there. We'll get a watch window either side and then I'd like to get in some fancy chairs and that kind of jazz. So let's go square table and we need yeah, a fancy chair. We'll get a fancy chair in there. And we could always go for like um, a privacy screen. So if we get that going 
from there to there then they can close it off if they want to just there's something there that's a bit different and um, yeah I like that right uh, we need to get a bin don't we so if I go over to it's like a doctor's office get our biohazard bin to go underneath a disinfectant and then we'll obviously um, greatly expand this area with more of these bed units as we get a bit more money so floor what should we do for floor we could go over to boring it's, it's not boring but we've just done it in a lot of areas kind of round of the edge look with that in the middle um, and then can we get one more of those units does that fit in there that does that's probably going to cost a lot of money so let's leave that alone what we are going to do is get a little cleaning cupboard up here I mean, it's actually going to be quite a large one it's actually quite a nice big space that there and then we'll get maybe a black floor in there walls let's go with maybe tiles everything like that like half tile half paint and then we'll get a restricted area door actually because obviously we don't want anyone going into our cleaning cupboard then we say uh, where is cleaning cupboard cleaning closet and then we'll simply go in there and we'll get in a few shelves a few bucket carts and then a couple of decorative bits and bobs just like that perfect right staff so let's get one janitor for the day um, one for the night as cheap as possible is great really let's go okay right doctors and nurses and we can actually go in here and we don't need those stretchers um, because we've already got stretchers and then let's get rid of one of the bookcases just to give us a little bit more money back right so doctors we need one doctor in the day and one doctor at night so we'll go with that for the moment when we need someone good obviously Christopher Clark's pretty good he's actually fairly cheap for how good he is let's get in Christopher Clark and he will be our chief in the day then at night Richard's pretty cheap and it's not I mean it's not dreadful but these guys are expensive let's get Richard Gonzalez at night I'm sure he'll be fine okay so in the day let's get someone who's pretty good with you know just being a clinical nurse so let's get in let's get in um, Jessica for the day and we'll get in Karen at night so that's like the bare bones that we need for the department to function and then as we get more money we can expand um, and you know in different ways you can expand in terms of staff and we can expand in terms of the number of beds that we have for our intensive care unit so now we have an objective to purchase an ambulance um, which sometimes is actually better to do to get a loan purchase three ambulances to then clear you effectively clear two two objectives so let's actually try that if we go out here if we get in we'll get in one at one ambulance I know it's obviously taking us right into the red but then that gives us this one here and as soon as we perform one surgery look we get 50 grand back and it means we now get um, trauma patients so we're massively in the red at the moment but guys I am positive that I'll better us in the long run so now what we need is someone to go into surgery so if we have a look at our patients in general surgery we've got Linda Hall over here who has a calculus of her ure ure ureter so she's got kidney stones and um, she needs shockwave lipotrispy skipped after waiting too long we've got a sonography room haven't we um well can we like do that again try that again for linda and then we've got paul foster down here he's got a h pylori infection so he's having some triple therapy treatments 
So we basically just need to wait for some more patients to come up here to our general surgery department and hope, I mean, hope, well, hopefully not for them, but hopefully for our hospital, we'll get someone that needs a surgery. Yeah, so Linda's going to have her shockwave um, treatment done. So Jennifer Barkley here has got a chest contusion, so she just needs some numbing ointment to help with the bruising on her chest. Come on, general surgery patients. Where's my doctor's office? It's over here. So we've got this guy here, Joseph Hall. Not too sure what's wrong with him at the moment. So let's do a physical exam. Uh, maybe we have a look at his abdomen because he's got something wrong with like maybe liver. Um, actually, oh, that could be a very wide variety of things wrong with him. So that's not done anything. Let's do a basic visual test and some neurological testing because it could be something like encephalitis. Um, and it's probably worth getting a blood draw in early. Let's do a blood draw. Uh, and then we'll probably want to do like blood pressure measurements, CRP, um, while we're waiting for his samples to be processed. I think that'll be good. And hopefully we'll get someone who needs surgery. And then that'll be 50 grand straight into our bank account. Um, so then we could try and purchase three, which would then, um, you know, get rid of this objective as well. And as we get five ambulances, that unlocks another insurance company. So it really is worth getting those ambulances just to get rid of the objectives. So if we, I mean, I probably can't place any more down because I haven't got enough funds. So let's go a little bit mental. And it will all make sense, hopefully. Um, one oh, on ground level, yeah. One, two. So that's another objective done. So let's do that. Now we're going to go back into here and basically say, take that down as much as possible. And I really hope that we can get some objectives done to clear out that backlog. So look, look, how, many pay, look how many people we have down here that wait to see doctors. And then we could hopefully get these two objectives here out of the way. So let's go around and we'll help these doctors out. So um, Sarah Harris is leaving. Frank Barkley's got a hepatic fibrosis. Let's get him to go up to general surgery, please. He does not need to be down here. Um, over here, we have Thomas Hall, senior scientist. So he's having that and hopefully going home. Over here, we've got Michael Scott. He's got viral tonsillitis. So he just needs some rest. So Michael Scott, please go home. You do not need an air, an air examination, all that. Please just go home. Don't do too many tests. And we might have to start thinking about increasing our uh, number of doctor's offices, possibly. Uh, we might need a few more to cope with our patients. So what's happening up here? We have a lady with her top off. Hello, Linda. So she... So it's not... We're not too sure what's wrong with her, her yet. So let's do... Let's do CRP. Um, maybe do a gastro... Ga, gastro... Oh, I can't say that word. I cannot say that word, but let's... I mean, dis yeah, discomfort's high, which isn't great. I mean, we could do something like a USG, um, just to have a look at what's happening. Maybe do an evaluation, and we'll see what goes on with Linda. Over here, we've got Ginger James Gonzalez, who's got hepatitis A, so he just needs some rest, and then hopefully he will go home. Oh, and then we can, we can actually sell these. I've got to sell them, didn't I? Let's sell them and then we'll take that down as much as possible. One surgery, guys. We need one poxy surgery. Who's this here? Thomas Foster. Does he need surgery? He needs surgery. Let's give him surgery. So he's got something wrong with his liver, but we're not sure what's wrong with his li liver. Yeah, so they are doing the blood test. That's great. That's what we need to do. And it's pretty quiet up here, actually. We've got Richard Allen over here. We've already seen Richard Allen. So it's actually pretty quiet up here. It's pretty busy downstairs though. So again, here we've got some boobies out with Jordan Barkley, who's got contact dermatitis. So he needs some antihistamines and then he can go home. And here we've got Susan Davis. We're not sure what's wrong with Susan. So let's do physical exam. Um, and then maybe let's get a microbial sampling done. Um, try and get that done. Because it looks like she has got some some sort of infection but we're not sure what 
Hello William Martinez, how are you doing? So we're not sure what's wrong with you again. It'd probably be good to get you to go to general surgery because then we can do some USG because you've definitely got something wrong with your kidneys there, haven't you? So go and do that and then we'll see what's happening with you. So we've done 30 patients. We need, um, oh, so we need 30 per day at emergency. So how many have we done at emergency so far? So we've treated, oh, how do I see that? Um, I don't know how I see. Oh, we've done 19. We've done 19 at um, emergency and then 12 at general surgery. So we can definitely hope to do the 20, 35 in general, 35 patients in general treated today. And that'll give us a prestige bonus of 20% for one day. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So, what's going on down here? It's now gone pretty quiet. Um, and here we've got Mary Allen. Again, we're not quite sure what's wrong with Mary. It could be a, a massive array of different things. So she's currently having a physical exam done. So let's have a look at her blood pressure, temperature. Let's do a skin allergy test. Um, and hopefully we can sort of see what's wrong with... Oh, Mary's got golfer's elbow. So stop those tests, do a nice wrap. That would be great. And over here we've just got Peter Foster, who has a leg contusion, so he's having his numbing ointment and he should be going home. We've got no one in our ICU, which to be honest is probably a good thing because it means that someone would be very, very ill. Um, and yeah, still pretty quiet upstairs, really. Seeing you, we've seen you, and we've seen you. Pretty quiet, guys, pretty quiet. Someone's going for a little poo. Um, and no one's waiting to be seen except from. Oh, we've got one person here, Linda Brown. She's here to see Joseph Baker. Um, I don't really know what we should do. Oh, we've done one. Oh, yeah, we've done the treat 35 patients. So if we can treat 40 patients today. We'd get 50 grand in the bank. We really need to try and do that. Let's maybe do... I mean, I'm not sure. So we've got two here. Okay. Um, so we could have a look at the, her poo. Let's have a look at her poo. Stool collection. Um, we could also look at CT. We haven't got a CT machine though. Uh, abdominal crack. Can we have a look at abdomen? I've already, have we already done that? Or I think we've already done that. But where are you, Linda? Oh, you're collecting your poo for the labs, are you? I think that'd be really good. Um, she's actually annoying. Oh, that's not great, Linda. Is that you're a bit annoying, love. We might need more people in our labs. Have we got one person per day? We have got two people in a day. We've only got one person in um, histology. So let's definitely get another desk, um, another office chair, another computer, and we'll get a printer. Now we've got one more person for histology, so let's go for, let's get in, um, I mean, you're very expensive though aren't you, let's get in, that's expensive, well let's get in someone good, let's get in Thomas Smith, he's pretty good, and that should mean that a few more patients should be seen today, I, I hope anyway, um, because of a few more people here. So we've treated 35 patients so far. I'm pretty confident we can kind of get this done actually as 40 patients today. She's got exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, so she needs PERT. And PERT is pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy. That sounds um interesting. That sounds interesting. Over here we've got Dana 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 Taylor. So she's actually got kidney stones, so she needs some shockwave um, treatment. And that should be hopefully another person um, done. So she actually needs to be hospitalised. So let's do regular hospitalisation. We'll also give her all those little bits and bobs. So apparently it's actually classed as surgery, but I assume that doesn't count as a surgery surgery. Um, I would have liked to have got that done really today because it you know, would make me got an instant 50 grand but 
Right, is there anyone down here that we can get rid of? She's leaving. No, no, can you, can you be hospitalised please? I don't know why you're leaving. You don't need to leave. Okay, so what's going on down here? There's no one here, and that's what annoys me. You kind of, sometimes you, you kind of get your patients done early, and then no one actually comes, comes around to see you again. So I hope we can get three more patients done today. But we might, oh, the ambulance has gone off. The ambulance has just gone off, guys. So we might be ribbing by bringing back a trauma patient. Complicated diagnosis for Christopher Gonzalez. So we're not sure what's wrong with him. It's definitely something to do with his lung, it looks like. So let's do... Let's do a evaluation. And then we'll do an x-ray of his chest. Because that should hopefully give, give us a good look of his chest and lungs. That would be great. Come on, people. Come to the hospital. There's something wrong with... Some of you, there must be something wrong. He's got chronic fatigue syndrome, so let's give him exercise. And Chris, get out the door. Then we're one person away from treating 40 patients today. One person away. Ah, do we need another bed in here? We need another bed, don't we? Oh, God. Hospitalised, transported to room. Okay, and you bring this person in. So here we've got Frank Barkley. So he's not going well. He needs some emergency care ASAP. Come an ice wrap. I don't know what, what what I don't know what we're ice wrapping, but we're ice wrapping something. Um, so he's got something wrong. He's either got he's got a laceration either to his pancreas, spleen, or liver. So let's give him a physical exam. We'll do palpitations of his abdomen, and that should hopefully tell us what's wrong with him. Apparently he's treated. I oh, know, hospitalised. Anyway, guys, we've done it. We've treated 40 patients today. That's awesome. So we've got $50,000 in the bank. So let's take that down a little bit. So we've got a 60,000 grand loan at the moment. So it's going okay. Um, but we definitely need to try and get more money. We're in that kind of phase of the game where money is the issue. But hopefully we can get a couple of grants done, get a surgery done, and that should be an instant 50 grand, which should be awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode today, guys. It was an interesting one. We got the intensive care unit down here. We've got this all set up, which is awesome to see. And um, hopefully we can just keep on building our hospital and treating as many patients as possible. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you again very shortly in the next one. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later